All right, I'm going to play the greeting songs until the others come in, all right? So I'm sharing my screen. Sound? How is the sound? You hear the sound on your end? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So this is your greeting song for this morning to start the day, all right? Hey, bang. Click here to subscribe. For Ping Pong on YouTube. Okay, good. So that's their good morning song. Or this morning. I'm going to move now into the lesson. I'm going to play you your basic age this morning. And this morning, your basic age is a color song. All right. So you're going to learn colors this morning. Okay, boys and girls. So give me some time to bring up the video, please. ABC Kid TV's new name. Coconut. How's this sound, um, please? I am. Okay. So you can hear. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. All right. You're going to listen. You're going to learn the colors. And don't, don't mute, unmute the microphone. You can't see All right. But make sure your microphones are off, so I don't want to hear you singing in the video, all right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's time for rainbow popsicles. Yummy, yummy, colorful popsicles. It's time for rainbow popsicles. What color?
Enjoy that color song, and I hope you learned some color. We're teaching you colors and fruits that have a different color. All right, okay. So, um, listen, who remember what we're looking at? The food? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Orange. No microphone must be on now, all right? So we are going to be looking at touch today. So my senses, we're looking at touch. Touch, that one. All right. No, <clears throat> you know, I want to talk to you. So I'm going to stop sharing my screen so I can get all of you up. another day all right okay you like okay another day i played for you all right good so we're going to go into lesson time all right malachi 
Okay, so don't, don't unmute back your microphone. Keep it muted. All right, so we say we're going to look at touch today. In your green book, I want you to turn to page 71. Page 71 from your green cover textbook. We're going to use it to do a little discussion first. Everybody find that page 71. No, which sense organ is responsible for touching? Which one of our sense organ is for touching? You can hear me. You can hear me. Okay, teacher, what, what is this? Little girl, little girl. We think of the hand, but the hands is responsible for touching. Is your hands and on your hand you have what there? That helps you to what help you to feel. Hmm? What helps No. For us to be able to touch things and tell how they feel, we have to look at the different types of textures or touch. Yeah. Feels, all right, the feeling or the texture. Now, in your book on page 71, you have some pictures there, all right? Some pictures. Now, the first one is a what? Mm hmm? Debra, you can have a line on in class. The first one. The first one. The first picture. Yes. What is that? The first picture. Yes. Fire. 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 Good. Now, if you put your hand and touch with fire, how does it feel? Fire. Mm -hmm. fire. What, what does how does fire feel? Very hot. That's fire. So the fire is. Hot, good. All right, mute the microphone, Deborah. Um, Kalila, Kalila, can you take the other one? What's the next one there beside the fire? Tell me what it is and how does it feel? Ice. Ice. How does it feel? Ice. How, does it feel? Ice. how does it feel? Cold. Cold. <clears throat> Malakai. Malachi, yes, and what's the other one underneath the fire? And how does it feel? Yes, it's a greater. When you rub your hand on it, how does it feel? Mm -hmm. yes, how does it feel? Yes, feel what? Bumpy. When you rub your hand on the grater, it feels? Bumpy. Rough. Bumpy, bumpy. All right, it feels rough, good. Bumpy. <laughs> All right. Um, Deidre, can you take the other one underneath the eyes? Tell me what, what object it is and how does it feel when you rub your hand on it, when you touch it? Mm? What's the picture there? What's this? Not no, 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 the different feelings that we can, we can feel is hot, cold, rough, smooth, hard, soft, furry, silky, wet, dry, bumpy, or prickly. All right. 
God. <clears throat> I'm going to repeat them again. You can feel things that are hot, cold, rough, smooth, hard, soft, furry, silky, wet, dry, bumpy, or prickly. All right? Good. Now, <clears throat> we already went through some of them. So I'm going to eliminate those. And I'm going to ask you now. Deja, can you tell me an object? Oh, there's no one beside you. Let me hear someone else until they come back here. Kalila, can you tell me an object? Any object that feels hard? Hard. Name me an object that feels good. Yeah. Hard. Table. Table, good. Um, Devroy, tell me something that feels soft. Soft. When you feel it, it feels soft. I'm the right thing. Mm -hmm. What feels soft? Pillow. Pillow, your pillow. Good job. Um, Talia. Talia, tell me something that can feel furry. Furry. Talia. There's a feedback in your microphone today, Talia. All right. <clears throat> Think about the answer and then you unmute and tell me so we don't get so much feedback in the in the you ready to tell me your answer, Talia? All right, unmute now and tell me quickly. Mm -hmm. What can feel furry, Talia? Furry. What feels furry? You're still muted and you're talking. Ask the person. What you said now, Talia? Teddy bear. Good job. All right. Nice. Good job. So a teddy bear can feel for it. Um, Deidre, you're back. Tell me something that feels silky. Anything at all that can have a silky texture. Silky. Say it again. Curtain. Your curtains. Good. Um, who is there? Malakai. Good. Malakai. Tell me something that feels prickly. Prickly. That means it can juke you and your fingers can touch it. Prickly. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right. And um Peyton, tell me something that feels bumpy. Peyton, bumpy. Peyton Blake, something yeah, that teacher. something that feels bumpy. Tomato. No. Huh? Um, tala sweetsa. Sweetsa. Mm hmm. Tala. Me sweetsa. Sweetsa feels bumpy. Good. Very good. Um, and you know, wet and dry, that would have to, that would have to be we doing that. You can wet up anything and you say it's wet. You don't have something that is always wet or dry. So wet or dry can be anything, your clothes, your shoes, your, 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 your even your body. All right. So wet and dry would left up to us. But some things definitely have those feelings. Like we know definitely that a fire is hot. A cup of tea can be hot or cold. We know that ice is cold, juice is cold. We know that um, the greater feels rough. We know that um, we can say that a glass is smooth or we can say that a piece of wood is hard. 
we can say that our pillow is soft or our blanket is soft. We can say that the cat is furry. We can say that our sheet is silky. We know that the sweet soft, as Payne says, bumpy. And we know that um, the cactus or even the jackfruit, right? Feel prickly. All right, so we can find food, food. We can find animals that have different textures, food that we eat, our things in our home that has different textures, all right? So we use our hands to tell what textures are those. So touching is an organ that is used to tell what texture are all the things feels, all right? Good. No. We explore hot, cold, rough, smooth, hard, soft, furry, silky, wet, dry, bumpy, quickly. So we explore 12 different types of touch, 12 different types of touch there. All right, good. So the touch, the hands is responsible for touching, for touching, good. And we have explored so far, we did seeing, we did listening, hearing, we did smelling, and now we are touching, all right? So the next one you'll get tomorrow is tasting. And then we will have finished all five, okay? All five sense organs, okay? So <clears throat> it's now 11, 27. We are going full speed ahead today. So I am going to share with you another video before we do that work, all right? The first activity, so our transition. And that will bring out the five senses. Okay, how's the sound on your end? Are you hearing any sound, boys and girls? Did you hear a sound? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Good, good job. So this video is us bringing out all five senses just for reinforcement. my ears 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 i can hear the birdies when i use my ears 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 i can hear the birdies when i use my ears 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 i can hear the wind chimes when i use my ears 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 i can hear the wind chimes
I can smell the flowers when I use my nose, nose, nose. I can smell the flowers when I use my nose, nose, nose. I can smell the muffins when I use my nose, nose, nose. I can smell the muffins. My mouth, mouth, mouth. I can taste bananas when I use my mouth, mouth, mouth. I can taste bananas when I use my mouth, mouth, mouth. I can taste a lemon when I use my mouth, mouth, mouth. I can taste a lemon. Sing together one more time. Okay, we won't sing any more time, all right? But we're going to go into our activity now. Um, the first activity for today is from the grade two. Turn to page 72. You're going to see two sets of activity. One at the top, one at the bottom. Sense of touch. It says there are some pictures at the top, it says the color of the ones that are hot. And then draw something that is cold. That's at the, that is at the bottom, all right? So you're going to use the crayon to find the ones that are hot at the top and you color them. And you draw something that is cold, all right, at the bottom. Draw something that is cold. All right, so we have, you have six minutes to complete an activity. Six minutes to complete an activity. Um, remember now, we're going, we're not going to give any break time or lunch time. So at 11.40, you're going to be cut off I'll send you another link for 11.45. For 11.45, okay? And resume back at 11.45, okay? So if you don't finish, when you come back, you can finish up the activity. So you can work now until this um, 40 minutes finishes. 